Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Mishra. Now in this video we are going to discuss regarding OR result calculation. So I will discuss some of the methods, those are important for your exam and then uh, I will discuss some of the questions those are uh, asked in previous year. Okay. So basically in OR result calculation if, if question will come that will come on tonnage or finding uh, finding tonnage or finding average grade of that core okay. grade or asset right. so first I will uh, define these terms then we will go to uh, go for the calculation okay so first of all what is tonnage tonnage is your average metal content that you can uh, extract from the deposit right metal content that can be extracted right that can be extracted from the ore okay then what is grade grade is the percentage of metal content that is present in the ore okay metal content in the ore metal content of the ore so accordingly the ore is classified to be high grade ore or low grade ore and that grade is different for uh, different uh, ores like for iron that cut up that is there is a term that is known as cut up grade what is cut up grade Suppose one ore is containing 35% of metal, okay. its grade is 35% or uh, one is 65% like that. So if the grade is 35 or 65 or 90 or it is 15, so there are various grades. So uh, uh, whether it is useful for us to mine there, whether it is profitable for us to mine there, so that depends on a certain uh, what certain percentage of grade like certain grade value uh, above that grade value if the ore mineral is containing higher grade value than that then we can do mining there that is known as cut up grade okay as i have told suppose 15 35 45 60 like that suppose if the metal content is less than 45 percent if the metal content is less than 45 percent then uh, for a certain deposit that is fixed for uh, that is that is dependent upon your deposits like that is different for iron ore that is different for limestone that is different for copper like metals copper and uh, gold silver like that so that is different from uh, different for different uh, metals or uh, different ore deposits okay so that uh, that particular grade above which we can do mining there that that is profitable then that grade is known as cut up grade okay metal content average metal content you can say average metal content of the ore is grade and cut up grade is above this grade mining is profitable okay if there will be no profit uh, then why someone will do mining there so uh, it is uh, determined to check whether you are getting profit from that or not from the mining activity then assay 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 is process of determining metal content right assay means it is process of determining metal content so there is the outcome of assay is known as assay value okay this assay value is similar with grade like here it is average metal content here it is also average metal content Assay value is same as your grade, right? 
but grade is used in case of like uh, let's let's consider iron ore deposit or uh, your limestone deposit like there the cut up grade is 65 percent or 45 percent like that we are getting what uh, we are doing mining there with higher values right 65 percent 45 percent like that but in case of assay value it is used for precious metals like gold silver okay so there we are finding uh, what is profitable concentration or what is your cut off assay value that will be your uh, like in ppms okay or in ppms or uh, parts per million ppm means parts per million okay so that is very less concentration if if that is, if the gold or silver that is in very less concentration also okay if you compare between iron and uh, your gold and uh, silver it will be uh, the iron that will be have that will be having some value in market and gold is also having some value in market but if you mine uh, some sort of uh, gold deposit or if you mine in some uh, uh, asset value of the gold uh, gold ore okay and then you are mining in certain grade of the iron deposit then that differs okay so how much iron you will uh, extract and how much gold you will extract that again differs so for precious metals because the price is very different right the price for price we are getting for gold and price we are getting from uh, uh, mining iron that is very different the profit you are getting that is very <coughs> that is very different so uh, the precious metals like iron and uh, copper or something they are uh, we usually use the term what assay value instead of grade there both of them are having same meaning right and grade is for your uh, iron deposit or limestone deposit or anything okay high grade deposit uh, sorry low value deposit you can say as compared to the precious metals okay then assay is process of determining the metal content okay cut up grade i have told that is uh, above that grade you can do mining there for your profit and tonnage that is metal content that can be extracted so most of the time the question is restricted to tonnage but they can ask you about grade or uh, assay value okay so process is same for gra calculating grade and assay value right both are same so we'll go for the problematic approach then So to discuss the problem, first I have to discuss what are the methods to determine this average grade or tonnage. So as uh, concentrated on jam, uh, they are asking very simple questions like most of the time they are asking tonnage, right? So what is the formula for tonnage? Tonnage is you can find out by volume into specific gravity or sometimes bulk density. Okay. So tonnage you can find out like volume into specific gravity or volume into ball density okay so i'll discuss some of the question from previous year so now now the thing is how to determine this volume part this specific gravity or ball density that that is given in the question to find out tonnage you have to do this right specific gravity and ball density now you have to calculate volume how to calculate volume volume is area into average thickness average thickness of of what of the ore body right like uh, in subsurface here it is the surface and here there is some ore body right so you want to find out what its volume its specific gravity is constant or ball density you can determine that is constant that is given in the question for your exam purpose now thing is you have to find out the volume 
for finding out volume you have to know the area and average thickness these two things are required so to determine this area and average thickness we have some methods okay and that again dependent upon what type of ore is there and each method is suitable for some kind of ore like i will discuss that the methods that that methods are uh, those methods are no, known as like first one is grid pattern methods for ore reserve calculation right ore reserve calculation means you have to find out the uh, volume then other thing is given then you can find out the tonnes right so grid pattern method Second one is triangular method, then polygonal method, then inverse distance, weighing method. then cross sectional method will these methods uh, for your exam for jam purpose these are not required if you can concentrate on these four types in this video also i will discuss on these four types in uh, further i can discuss this cross section method or there is one LV section or it is called longitudinal vertical section, right? LV section method, then uh, ISO patch map. So these methods are required for uh, after MSc like while you are preparing for gate net. So for jam you have to concentrate only on this uh, three four things and these are also they are not asking they are very de in very details okay as i have told you that they are asking only from tonnes right so if they will ask something on this method so you can do they will not go beyond this okay so i'll discuss these four things so first one is grid pattern so as i have told these methods why these methods why we are applying or using these methods only to determine what the reserve means the volume the area and the average thickness then from that we are finding the average grade or then tonnage okay uh, okay so for grade pattern it is actually used for what tabular uh, like uh, tabular deposits like it is the sur sur surface and here it is the or body right it is used in case of tabular deposit okay so like we are doing some boreholes like this we are doing some boreholes and taking the borehole measurement means the thickness here this is the thickness of ore in this borehole let's say this is one two three four five like that so this is the thickness right this is the thickness of ore this is the thickness of ore for this borehole this is the thickness of ore for this borehole then there are number of boreholes there are number of boreholes we have to arrange them like this in rectangular or square pattern the arrangement of the total number of boreholes that looks like this this is one borehole this is two three four like this so this is this can be either square or rectangle right that means these are of equal distance this is a fixed distance right to plot the sorry to do this borehole 
to do this borehole the, the distance should be kept what same or that should be b like this okay as i have told that can be square or rectangle but this distance and this distance that should be fixed okay so then what you have to do this is the you have to join all the boreholes you have to join all the boreholes like this okay now you can see this is a square pattern square grid pattern okay, this is known as grid pattern For, uh, in which deposit you can find you, you have to find it in what tabular deposit let's say the deposit is like this okay so you are this is the ore deposit and this is in subsurface and this is from above the surface of uh, doing the borehole borehole 1 then you have to name it 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this okay so that again depends how many number of boreholes you are doing there that again depend the borehole with like uh, the distance of separation between two adjacent borehole that again depend upon what type of deposit like for if you are determining for coal deposit if that the coal deposit that occur in sheet right that occur in flat sheet or bedded deposit like that so you can do this borehole spacing uh, you can take more borehole spacing like the distance uh, might be uh, in some tens of meter or like that okay so you can take uh, sorry the distance uh, you can take tens to hundreds of meters okay like for uh, bedded deposit or sheet like deposit but uh, when you are uh, taking for uh, what other than bed type deposit or sheet like deposit then you have to decrease the borehole spacing okay the borehole spacing again dependent upon the nature of the ore body whether it is bedded or seated like that again dependent upon this okay uh, sorry this is dependent upon that uh, nature of the ore body the borehole spacing okay so then what you have to do you have done these boreholes you have formed this grid pattern now as i have told you have to find out what average thickness the main motive of every method is you have to find out average thickness and then volume volume means area into thickness okay then a ball density or your uh, specific gravity is given then you have to find out what ton is okay these three things we have to determine average thickness volume and then ton is okay so now for this uh, grid pattern as you can see you can find out the area between these four boreholes right you can find out this area how you have to find out this area if that will be square uh, if that is a square grid pattern you can take a square or here it is d square area of a certain what certain grid or certain uh, square this is the total grid grid pattern and this is the one square so you have to find out the area d square or if that will be rectangular you can find out by using length into breadth right so that is area then you have to find out thickness to determine volume you have to find out thickness so how to find out thickness for each borehole you have to take the measurement for each borehole you have to take the measurement like for first borehole let's say thickness is t1 second t2 then your this is sixth for t6 plus t5 divided by 4 okay for each borehole like here you can see this is thickness this is the thickness this is the thickness then four adjacent uh, boreholes you are taking okay four adjacent boreholes or four corners you can see i have done these boreholes at the 
corners of the grid right so the average thickness for this borehole t1 this borehole t2 for this one t6 then for this one t5 divided by 4 that will give you the average thickness can calculate this this is average thickness and area so then you can calculate the volume for each block this area and this average thickness only for this region so then you can find out the volume in this region right so volume for each plug will be let's say first one is v1 okay then you have to find out similarly this is for v1 this is v1 here volume 1 then you have to find out second one similar in similar way average thickness and then what area area will be same if it will be rectangle or square that will be same so average thickness into area then you can find out the volume for this block then for third fourth this, is, this will be v2 okay, similarly v3 v4 like that okay so you will find out volume for each blocks then total volume is sum of total volume will be equal to sum of all the volumes Okay, volume of each plug. V I means your uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, anything, right? So, total volume will be sum of volume of each plug. So, you have find out the volume, right? As I have told, area into thickness. Area you can find out uh, whether it is square or rectangle accordingly. Then, average thickness, as I have told, you have to take 4 adjacent boreholes divided by 4. Similarly, for each blocks. Then, volume for each blocks. Then, the total volume then to find out tonnes this total volume will be used and it is multiplied with what your uh, specific gravity or bulk density whatever is given there right so is you can find out like that total volume into specific gravity or ball density okay then uh, then talking about grade okay then one more thing that is your grade average grade of the ore okay Average grade of the ore. You have learned how to, we have learned how to find out thickness, then volume, then tonnage, then grade. So how to find out the grade? For each borehole, you have find out the grade measurement. Okay. For let's say for uh, borehole one, you are finding grade one. Borehole two, you are finding grade two. Okay. Similarly, borehole three you are finding grade 3 and for each board and sorry not 3 2 6 and 5 okay 6 and borehole 5 grade 5 and for each you have find out the thickness okay in the borehole thickness you have uh, you can find out from the borehole core then grade also you can find out from the borehole core Okay, that is grade 1, grade 2, grade 1, grade 2, grade 6 and grade 5. Similarly, thickness is T1, T2, T6 and T5. These are thickness. Okay, now you have to find out the average grade for each block. Average grade for each block.
So average grade will be See, this is also a common formula in each method. As tonnage is volume into specific gravity and volume is area into thickness, then average thickness we are finding for uh, what? Taking uh, averages of all the adjacent boreholes. Similar in all the methods. In triangular also same, polygonal will be also same, but there will be uh, some difference in taking the area. Okay. In uh, calculating the area, there will be some difference. Okay. Uh, otherwise all formulas are of same pattern okay for average grade as i have told you you can find out like g1 t1 g1 t1 means grade of fast borehole grade measured from the from the fast borehole thickness measured from the fast borehole then g2 t2 grade from second thickness from second g 6 T6 grade from this borehole, 6 borehole and thickness and similarly grade 5 G5 and T5 divided by T1 plus T2 plus T6 plus T5. Okay. Grade into T1. The grade 1 means your grade of the fast borehole then into thickness of first borehole grade of second borehole into thickness of second borehole like that and divided by sum of all the thickness so this average grade you are finding for what the first block or the first block okay if you have to find out for the whole ore body if you have to find out for the whole ore body you can use the formula For finding out average grade for the whole whole body you can find out like g1 t1 g2 t2 and likewise okay for all the boreholes you are taking grade into thickness grade into thickness grade into thickness divided by t1 plus t2 plus like that how many boreholes you have till 12 okay so you can write it in general form that will be equal to sum of g i t i divided by sum of t i that means sum of multiplication of grade and thickness of each borehole divided by sum of thickness of each borehole okay it, it will give you average grade okay so for polygonal method, uh, sorry, for this uh, grid pattern method, we have learned how to find out average thickness, then volume, then tonnage, then average grid. Then we will move to next method as I have told you. The formula will be in same pattern, okay. Only how you are determining the area, that will be different. So second one is triangular method. The triangular method, it is uh, in this method is applied when the subsurface body is not like not it is not uniform. It is not uniform. It is not like sheet in previous case. For sheet like deposit, grid pattern is the best method, right? Triangular method they are used for what uh, massive ore bodies. They are used for massive ore bodies like they are not like sheeted deposit, but uh, something like uh, uh, yes, something like massive ore bodies means extension is bigger but the outline is not regular extension is bigger but the outline is not regular then we are using this triangular method grid pattern we are using in 